Greetings and welcome. Tambucha here and today I'm going to talk about tiling. I am in Archcraft Linux and the window manager is Ovenbox and this distribution does come with some manual, manual tiling features. So if I open my file manager here and I hold on to the super key and I'll hold, I'll press my cursor key. So super plus up, super down, super left, super right. Also, if I hold the super key and navigate with the number pad keys. So I'll just show you quickly here. You can see it navigated to the four corners of my screen as well as it can navigate to the upper halves and lower halves of the screen as well as make it full screen. So that's what I call manual tiling, but I want to talk about auto tiling. Now this distribution does come with an auto tiling window manager called BSP WM. Yeah, so this is BSP WM. I haven't played around with it that much, but it's a tiling window manager. I can open Thunar here. I hit my super key. I'll open Firefox. And uh, actually, I don't even know how to set it that it tiles automatically. That's how much of a noob I am in this window manager. But in the future, maybe I'll play around with it some more. But for now, it's just a backup uh, window manager, just in case I screw up my window, uh, not window box, open box. But let's get out of that. But today I want to talk about something else. So if I open my web browser and I search for Zentile GitHub, there we go. And I click on this. So basically this provides automatic tiling for EWMH compliant window managers, whatever that standard is. But I know it definitely works in OpenBox because I already tried it, but for the sake of this video, we'll go through the steps. So if I click here, these are your releases. Now it is kind of old, September 12, 2019. You can download the source code and compile it yourself, but I'm going to get this 64-bit binary here. So there you go, it's completed. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And there it is. Actually, this one is not supposed to be there because I did it already before this video. But anyway, so this is what you get um, out, uh, when you download it. I'm going to rename it to just Zentile. And since I'm in the file manager, I'm just going to go to right click properties, permissions, and check this, allow this program to, or allow this file to run as a program. So we'll exit that, and then we'll go to the terminal, cd to downloads, do an ls. So it's green, that means it's executable. Actually, I'll enlarge that a bit so you can see it. And then I'm just gonna run it. So dot slash zen, zen tile. So there you go, it's launched but it's not activated. So to activate it, actually I'm gonna launch this first and a browser as well. So to activate it, you would do Control Shift T. Now it's activated. To turn it off, Control Shift U. There you go. I'm gonna turn it back on again and I'm gonna navigate to my documents folder and I made a shortcuts list for it. What happened? Okay, um, yeah, we'll close that. And here it is. So control shift T to tile, control shift U to untile. Now I use this function, control shift M. So if I go over this one, control shift M, you see it makes it the main one. I don't want to know what it's called exactly, master, I'm not sure. Uh, and then if I do control shift S, it goes to a different layout, control shift S again, control shift S again. Yeah, so it cycles through different layouts, I guess. And if I want to make this the main, Control shift m there you go. These ones, I don't know, so I'm not going to mess around with them um, because um, I don't use them and I don't need to use them, but you can try them if you want. I do use these ones though, Control uh, bracket right, so I'll do that now, Control bracket right, and then Control bracket left, so you can see what that does, right? Um, so that, that's, that's the basic uh, functions. Did I just say that? I meant yeah. 
But anyways, so that's <laughs> the basic functions of this um, Zen tile here. It makes your uh, basically um, a floating window manager into a tiling window manager. Now it's not as robust and fully featured as those fully, you know, um, uh, big uh, tiling window managers. But um, to be honest, this is all I need. I, I don't go any further than this. One, you got one big screen here and two smaller ones here. Any further and I would just go to a new desktop and start something else. Yeah, I wouldn't go any further than having one thing here, probably like a web browser on this side, and then maybe um, a terminal and then something else, like a file manager uh, on the bottom. But um, yeah, those are your basic functions for um, Zentile. And I know the the regular tiling window managers, they don't have these window decorations. But to be honest, I like window decorations. They make it look less plain. And from a functionality viewpoint, yes, it takes up more space. But I actually don't really like the look of um, it without window decorations. And you can also adjust OpenBox to not show window decorations. Anyways, I like window decorations. That's my preference. Yes, it does reduce screen real estate, but I don't care. I like the look of it. Now, one thing I would like to do is I'm going to go to my um, terminal again and we'll enlarge it for you again. We'll go to CD downloads and ls. So I'm going to do a sudo uh, copy of the file name into the slash user slash local slash bin. That way I don't have to execute it from my downloads folder. So I'm going to get out of my downloads folder. Now I'm in my home folder and then actually Zentile is already activated. So I have to do a kill all Zentile. Oh, no process found. My mistake. Um, so we'll run Zentile. And there you go. It's running and we'll launch a web browser again, I guess, and a file manager. And we'll see if it works. There we go. Control Shift T, it works. Control Shift U, that untiled itself. So now it's floating. You can tell better if I move things around. It's it's a floating mode now. And then Control Shift T again. It's in tiling mode, right? So we'll just exit out of that. And then the final thing I want to do is I want to launch it as startups. So we're going to go to Preferences, Open Box edit the auto start menu and I'll go here and um, I think I'm gonna launch it right after the polybar launches or the whatever if it's tin2 it'll launch tin2 but um, say start zentile and then we're gonna do an exec zentile and then and and then that should start it up. So I'm gonna save it. And then once I reboot or log out and log back in, it should be activated or it should be executed, but you don't. You have to activate it still with Control Shift T. So I will put a link in the description of the homepage as well as these shortcut keys for Santile if you're interested in running it. But that's all I got for you today. So I hope you found this useful. And until next time, take care.